the first sea child served the aircraft carrier INS Vikrant marks a proud milestone for India. For the first time, a magnificent warship was built entirely domestically. It is expected that INS Vikrant will be commissioned in 2022 and will be the second aircraft carrier after INS Vikramaditya. Plans for a third ship, INS Vursar, are likely to be delayed due to a number of factors. But it is expected that the Indian Navy will have the capacity and budget to complete it, making for a remarkable development in the Indian Navy's capabilities. The new development of INS Vikrant in the context of India becoming too dependent on INS Vikramaditya, especially as the country increases its participation in military exercises throughout the world. For example, the Indo-European Union exercise in June in the Gulf of Aden, the Varuna exercise with the French Navy in April, the trilateral exercise with Singapore and Thailand in November last year. On June 28, the Indian Navy also held a joint exercise with South Korea in the East China Sea, which is likened to China's backyard. Indeed, Unlike China and even the former Soviet Union, India has long focused on aircraft carriers instead of submarines. India once had a majestic class light aircraft carrier, also named INS Vikrant, which served in the Navy from 1961 to 1997 and fought effectively in the 1971 war with Pakistan. Meanwhile, INS Virat, acquired from the UK, joined the Indian Navy in 1987 and served until 2016. These aircraft carriers have given the South Asian nation a considerable amount of experience in military operations involving aircraft carriers, as well as being a compelling region why New Delhi decided to stay maintain the appearance of aircraft carriers in the Navy. On the other hand, China has commissioned its second largest aircraft carrier and is building a third, thereby surpassing India in naval aviation in a relatively short period of time. Although less experienced than India in operating aircraft carriers, China has a very efficient shipbuilding industry, an increasingly modern aviation force, and is less dependent on foreign technology. These regions force New Delhi to speed up the completion of aircraft carrier projects, along with strengthening its navy if it wants to continue to maintain its influence and protect its sovereignty and national interests at sea. Both the Indo-Pacific and South China Sea are increasingly becoming contentious and regions of power posturing, contest and conflict. The U.S. has launched a massive naval and amphibious military exercise in the Indo-Pacific region along with UK, Australia, and Japan. Most recently, the U.S. Navy successfully tested and validated the system's integration and the missiles propulsion system of the new AGM 88G Advanced Anti-Radiation Guided Missile Extended Range. 
These efforts, Navy Technological Coordination, will enhance the U.S. Navy's capabilities to meet surface-to-air threats, especially in the South China Sea, where the U.S. seeks to challenge China's intrusions and claims. There is no doubt that India has come a long way to become a blue navy. INS Vikram's maiden sea trial marks a major step forward from made in India and promises to reinvigorate the government's stimulus programs. And very soon, as INS Vikram will provide a new deterrent for the Indian Navy to effectively deal with the challenges and competition in the Indo-Pacific, present and future. My video about the INS Vikram Carrier Answer. Thank you for watching. If you find this video interesting, please give me your thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to support the channel. Goodbye and see you again in the next videos. Tạm biệt và hẹn gặp lại quý vị và các bạn trong các video tiếp theo.